We're here with Ido Ganot from Discredix. We're talking about mobile security. Right. Maybe you can uh, give our, our viewers uh, the lowdown on what uh, Discredix does with uh, okay. that. So the world of, uh, of mobile phones in general have evolved in a dramatic way. And today, regular phone, you know, a phone that I have with me right here, which used to be just a regular feature phone, is today actually a smartphone with capabilities of getting information from the outside, uh, open operating system, you can download software, uh, the phone uh, is uh, kind of you know something that people would like maybe to have some uh, viruses installed into that or uh, some just there is our expensive pieces of consumer electronic devices. Uh, part of that evolution created a strong insecurity for these mobile phones and security, which is a word that is slightly misused because it's only protection, has evolved in the mobile space to enabling applications. So it's one element is protecting the device. So against fraud and theft or to make sure that you don't get harmful elements uh, interjected into your device. But on the other hand, it opens a whole slew of applications such as content, the ability to consume content, the ability to see what you want to see. You have your own personal information, the PIN or uh, all kind of enterprise data uh, and protecting that. And the nice thing about the phones, if you look again at this, every phone today has this uh, small uh, memory devices uh, into them and th this memory device works in tandem with the phone so that needs protection as well because it contains a lot of information from content through your personal or enterprise data what this credit does is working in this ecosystem being a leader in this field of protecting the phone and the memory device by way of what is called embedded security and embedded security is a term which has just recently in the last few years started to be coined and recognized globally is that you protect the actual basic assets of the phone all the way through the hardware-based security which is the chips that run those phones and the chips that run this uh, memory unit. They are protected by the Discredix IP and the Discredix technology uh, with a slew of applications, uh, what is called the security middleware layer and security applications such as digital rights management which is today uh, carried, you know, uh, every label wants to protect their content uh, there are examples uh, here at the show. Uh, Sandisk, for example, on the memory devices protect their, uh, the entire memory uh, devices that they have, be USB or memory cards, with the Discredix technology. Or if you look at the Motorola uh, down at the South Hall, I believe, they have the Z8 that they have announced, which is, they call it the multimedia giant. So that includes uh, content protection technology that comes from Discredix. So it starts from the DRM, digital rights management, which sets the rules and restrictions, what a user can use, how does he use the content, who is allowed to use it, how many times, maybe I can send it out for you as a kind of a small trigger or a preview and then you purchase the content. Uh, and that trickles down all the way to the security which is founded at the chipset level. So all in all, it, it provides an extremely robust implementation, but the key is that the users don't feel that there is security. But security has to be hidden in a way. Yeah. Uh, and so the user experience is not influenced because it works hardware-based, so both robust and performance-wise, it provides this experience that the user expects. And then it opens to the entire ecosystem from the chipset provider, the handset manufacturer, the card manufacturer, and most importantly, the carriers, which are the ones which eventually procure those phones and give us to us as the end users the ability to have this, all these applications. Another example, because I just focus for, on, uh, kind of, because it's a consumer show on content consumption, but if you look at content consumption, it can be videos, gaming, music, and it can be also a piece of software. You have an expensive piece of software that you have uh, purchased or that uh, your enterprise has provided you, and this software has also the rules and restrictions who can use it, and whether it's for five users or for one user, and that you cannot give it to somebody else in, in a way which the license hasn't, uh, wasn't provided. Look at user-generated content. Now everybody generates their own content. Now you take a picture with your mob, uh, or a video with your mobile phone and you want to send it out. Uh, how do you know that that picture was truly authenticated because maybe it contains important information or uh, that the content is not that appropriate to upload on a site? So again, this is all about security, what you're allowed to do or not allowed to do. And then you take the phone in Japan and in Korea, the phone is your authentication vehicle and that's the way that you actually buy from small items and even uh, more expensive items. You just flash your phone uh, next to the train station and you go and you enter the, the train. So the security inside the phone contains a 
the information that uh, authenticates you, but also your small wallet. So it, it has this hundred dollars that is getting depleted and only the security inside the phone makes sure that there is no fraud and that the system goes smoothly. So you're not losing money. No, you're not losing money. Right. So all these kind of applications today, they're just keep on mushrooming and all starts from this embedded security, which is rooted in the chipset and goes and uh, uh, provides this application inside the device itself. And the best part is that the user doesn't have to worry about it. It's just embedded. You work it's right with the embedded. manufacturers. Yeah. So for the users, all they know that all of a sudden they've got content available in various forms. They can do subscription. By the way, subscription is security. Yeah. Because what is subscription? How do I know that I've subscribed and I have a right to use it for 10 months or for a year? It's still so in terms of the users, they have this application. They know that they can put their credit card information on the phone and it's secure. They know that if they lose the phone, nobody can use it anymore. Uh, so, and they can uh, trust their own uh, important information inside that phone. So they use the security and they use the application without hindering the user experience. The battery uh, time stays the same and it all is because that's what is called hardware-based security. It comes rooted from the basic uh, processor that runs this uh, consumer electronic unit. You know, the phone is just, it's a consumer electronic device nowadays. Exactly. Uh, where, where can people find out more information about Discretics? Uh, just uh, visit our website, which yes. is www.discretics.com. Uh, it uh, has uh, both market information, uh, where can I use you know, this kind of embedded security, what kind of application, and all for the actual, for the uh, uh, chipset providers and the handset manufacturers, what can they embed to empower their ecosystem and their customers to have better applications and uh, security. Well, thank you very much, Ido, for joining thank us. You.